Well, you know, the first thing I want to say is congratulations to John and his team. I mean, obviously, um, you know, it, it, it may, and obviously I know there's a lot of basketball that we play for them, but um, I think what they've done may not happen again for a long, long time. Um, so I think that um, for people that have covered their team, um, I think it's really important that people at least reflect in, in a real positive way of, of what they've accomplished, um, you know, this season. Um, I, I felt like for, for 30 minutes, you know, we, we played, you know, pretty good basketball. Um, you know, I didn't think we got dominated on the backboard. Um, you know, I thought we had really, really good offensive possessions. Um, one of the things that really helped us, and I think we really had a, a pretty significant advantage there in the first half on points off turnovers. You know, we were able to score and get out and transition some. Um, and then I think at the, the 10 minute point, I think to your point, Jerry, I thought, you know, their offensive rebounding started to uh, affect us some. Um, I think the last 22 minutes of the game, we, you know, of our turnovers of 17, I think we had 12 of, of our uh, 17 turnovers in the, in, the, in the last 22 minutes. And I thought the turnovers hurt us. I thought we got down the lane with our guards and um, we, we made some, some poor decisions that, you know, enabled them to kind of maybe get out on the break. Um, I thought the reason the game was close, at least for a good portion of the game, was, you know, we didn't get crushed by the three-point line and we didn't get killed on the backboard. We kind of, our three-point shooting maybe kept us close and them not making and taking a lot of threes also helped too. And then I also thought in the first half we did a good job on their front court guys doubling them from different areas of the floor. Uh, but I thought over a period of time we had too many lapses on offense and we had also a struggle, I think, um, up front there in, in the second half on their putbacks, offensive rebounding, those kind of plays. Well, how hard was it to get with Lyles, I'm sorry, can you get How hard was it to get with Lyles, too, in terms of, you know, that third big guy up front? Yeah, you know, it was um, it wasn't bad for us. I was much much more concerned about them posting him. You know, I felt like going into the game we needed to play small because if we would have gone big and we, we worked on a little bit of that in practice, um, I I just wanted to have him make make him guard one of our guards and, and have to run around at six foot ten uh, and do some of that. And we felt like we could double team him and post up most of his points. Um, we're, we're really on jump shots. He had one low post move there at the end of the game where he scored on a jump hook, but most of his stuff was all jump shots. And a lot of that was us trying to provide some help in on the post on, on Towns and Quality Stein. So he made a lot of tough two-point shots, and um, you know, he's really, really a good player. I said after our game in, in Gainesville, you know, the game in Gainesville was, was, was very, very close, and I thought at least from a matchup standpoint against our team, him being out really, really helped us because they had a play with three traditional perimeter guards, which we probably matched up a little bit better with. Billy, is this the best Kentucky team you've seen? You know, I'd let John comment, you know, about that. I mean, it's it's hard. I mean, I've, I've obviously competed against a lot of really good teams. Um, it's hard to say if they're the best. I mean, I think the team that won the national championship with Anthony Davis, people will compare them to that team, but I don't think there's anybody on this team in, in Anthony Davis's league, in my opinion. They've got outstanding talent and they're really good players, don't get me wrong. But John's probably better because I think when you, when you look at a team, so much of the team is based on chemistry, how connected they are, you know, how they play for each other, share the ball, all those kind of things. I think this team definitely does it, but John's got more of a an internal insight into how he would rank his teams from a coaching perspective. Billy, scoring-wise, is that about what you like from uh, from Casey every game? Well, he did a nice job finishing at the basket. You know, the, the one thing I didn't like is, is obviously the four turnovers. I thought he got deep a couple times and tried to make some plays that weren't there. Um, and it hurt us, but also some of those drives in the first half really helped us. So it's hopefully it's something he can learn from and grow from and get better at.